Horses are on the track and ready to pose for the third race. The standard bred two-year-old filly, Turat, second division, a purse of $28,314, sponsored by Document Solutions. These are the horses, number one, Shimmy Pine, Jackpot Stable, David Goodrow Stable, Jimmy Tactor Drives. Number two, Casa Marina, Mary McLaughlin. J.M. and C. Beaver, C.F. Beaver of Ohio and Florida. Ray Paver Jr. drives. The three, Rob Away, Trisha. Rob Away Farms, Gorford of Battle Creek, Michigan with Mark Gomera. Number four, Shanana. Flowing Mineral Farm, Beach City, Ohio, Charlie Myrick, the driver. Number five, Sequoia Grove, Maria Lejeune. The owner, Jean Nordine, drives. And number six is Madam Super Bowl. Bonnie Miller and David Miller, Jr., Strasburg, Virginia. Dave Rankin in her sulky second division. Moving up and moving in. The gate swings into the stretch, and here they come. They're up and trotting. It's Casa Marina going right up for the late Sequoia Grove. Up on the outside, second, Rockaway Trisha gets away. Third, on the outside, Shana racing up fourth. Jimmy Pine racing fifth and drilling to be a Madam Super Bowl. Off stride down the back side of the first quarter mark. Casa Marina has a lead by two and a quarter. Sequoia Grove racing second. On the move on the outside, Neil third settling in at the pylon. Runaway Trisha as they race around the turn fourth. Racing fifth, Jimmy Pine opening quarter in 30 seconds flat. On the move on the outside. Here comes Rockaway Trisha. Now third, moving up after the leader. Casa Marina and Ray Paver Jr. shows the way, but Rockaway Trisha and Mark Gomera closing on the outside second. Sequoia Grove trots third, racing fourth. Shanana, fifth the Shimmy Pine, Trinity and Madam Super Bowl. Halfway home, one minute for fifths. On to the back side they go. Casa Marina has a lead by a length and a half. Rockaway Trisha right there, second. Once again, comes back to the outside. Go after the leader, Sequoia Grove, racing third. Up the inside, Jimmy Pine, fourth. Madam Super Bowl, racing fifth. Shanana trails the field. Go on the three-quarter mark. Three-quarter mark in 130 and four. That third quarter in 30 seconds for the line. Casa Marina with the lead. On the outside, Rockaway Trisha can't get by. Racing third, Sequoia Grove. Racing fourth, Shimmy Pine. And opening up is Casa Marina and Ray Paper Jr. Coming home, Rockaway Trisha second, Sequoia Grove third. It's all Casa Marina. Rockaway Trisha second, Sequoia Grove was third. Into the winner's circle. Winner of the standard bread, two-year-old Philly Turant, second division. Number two, Casa Marina. J.M. C. Beaver of Delaware, Ohio. C.F. Beaver of Deland, Florida. And Mary McLaughlin of Lancaster, Ohio. Charlie Beaver Turing's Ray Paver Jr. gets his second win of the week here at Delaware. Casa Marina, third win in eight starts. Coming home a winner this afternoon in 201. For two in a row in Ohio. Cass Marina continues a very good week uh, thus far. Seeing for Charlie Beaver and Ray Paver, they've clicked on a couple of uh, stakes winners and have a okay, couple Sam, more on thanks. the card.
Charlie Beaver is the trainer of Casa Marina, and it looks like a family affair with all the owners saying Beaver. All right, we we all put a little money into her and bought her. She wasn't a real high price filly, but we just liked her when she went through the sale, and uh, we're just happy to have her now. <laughs> you bought her as a yearling? Yeah, I give uh, thirteen or fourteen thousand for her. She was a just a little consigner, and we we thought she uh, had the, what we looked for and a com confirmation, so we went ahead and bought her and. Uh, and she's out of a mare that was a good race mare here in Ohio. So that's what I kind of look for. Well, let's talk about Casa Marina a little bit. I watched her race in the Champlain Stakes, her last start, and she looked like she had no racing luck. Right. Shuffle back and plenty of trot, and she showed that here today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we felt like uh, uh, that she had a lot, uh, a lot of trot in that race. And Ray said, he, you know, he wished you to come first over. But, you know, with these two-year-olds, you got to give them a chance to you know, develop, and I hate to see one get tired on the tail end of it, so I think he did the right thing. Well, she looks like she's developing nicely. Did you think that, uh, did you have any pre-race strategy that the only way to probably beat Rampaway Trisha was to go to the lead? Uh, I never told him a thing. You know, he that was if that was his strategy, that, you know, that's the way it worked out good. You know, I don't like to t tell drivers too much. It was a great they, driving strategy. Uh, when they drive them a few times, they know the horse. You know, they know what they got. So we don't, I don't try to tell them what to do. And Ray's a good driver, smart, you know, so. We're, What's next with this filly? Uh, Lexington, I think. Uh, she has that uh, Tag Labu special race. She got the Breeders' Crown. She's staked in everything. So. All right, Charlie. Well, congratulations winning with Casa Marina. Post parade's on the track.